All right, sorry it's taking me so long to get this video to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Right now the trailer's roughly sitting at 21 and a half inches with zero weight on it. Tape measure's on the ground. All right, and Larry's gonna sit on it. He's gonna sit, put all his weight on this corner. Your fluctuation is about a half an inch. How much you weigh, Larry? Uh, 210. 210 pounds on that corner, and it flexed a half inch. Now, I'm 320, and I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to let Larry video me. Where's your going stop button? I right, just video it. I'll, I'll stop it. Okay. Right now, we're sitting at exactly 21 and a half inches <coughs> with no weight at all. Tape measures on the ground, 21 and a half inches. 320 pounds. What's it reading, Larry? 20 and a half. So you get a whole inch deflection with 320 pounds on the corner. That's how much that trailer's gonna deflect. I'll show you a couple other things while I've got the video going. Safety chains are heavy duty grab hooks, or slip hooks rather, bolted on. I don't let those hang down in the dirt. I always lay them up on the top of the frame. The frame is a three inch channel iron, or channel, C-channel aluminum. The uh, coupler is a Atwood style, yoke style coupler. It's not the flip over Fulton. This particular coupler goes forward and latches down. I like these because it have to defy gravity to come unlatched. Uh, A-frame jack with support plate underneath to keep the jack from kicking out if you've got uh, loading it when it's not hooked up. The wire harness is all put in uh, wire loom so it protects the wiring all the way back. If you look right here, the tongue folds up underneath the trailer. LED uh, marker lights right there on both sides and then the channel iron tongue or channel tongue goes all the way back to in front of the axle and stops right there just behind the fender It's 3,500 pound galvanized axle with uh, 205 75 15 load range C tires on galvanized wheels. These are 15 inch tires So they're gonna be easy to replace when you got to replace those the fenders are just bolted on, so you can, if you damage one, you can take it off and put a new one in its place. Take you about an hour at the most if you ever have to replace a damaged fender. LED marker lights on the corners with bolt-on hinge, uh, bolt hinges for the gate and bolt-on hinge pins uh, or uh, gate pins hold the gate on. The uh, mesh, you've got a flat mesh. On the ramp gate, outside post is a 2 by 2 by one eight thick. Interior post are a 2 by one by one eight thick. Um, they are on 12-inch centers. And then you've got a uh, 2 by 3 piece angle for a nice easy transition when the ramp hits the ground. The gate is a bolt-on gate, so you can undo that, and it's all stainless hardware. You can take that off and use a trailer just as a straight-up flatbed. Along the back of the trailer here, we have another piece of three inch C-channel underneath the tailboard to encompass the lights, LED, stop tail and turns, and the LED identification markers in the middle. Everything's LED, they're rated for 100,000 hours. Uh, basically, you've got uh, LEDs for a lifetime unless you damage them, which inside of that channel is gonna be really hard to do. Uh, reflex ID tape along the top edge of the ramp gate along the bottom edge of the trailer tailboard all the wood is screwed down so you can always replace the wood that is uh, treated 2 by 6 yellow pine from uh, Home Depot just straight off the shelf treated treated lumber Everything on this trailer is stainless hardware if it has to be bolted in. Uh, even the bolts that hold the fenders on are stainless. Um, the only thing is steel is the stuff that has to be. Uh, we went specially overboard with the stainless. 
even the screws that hold down the nylon clamps. We didn't use metal clamps because we didn't want it to rust. The whole purpose of the aluminum trailer is to prevent rust. So we even went with the Monel brand. Um, these are a stainless substitute. They're not exactly 100% stainless, but they are, they are more stainless than your regular zinc coated self uh, drilling screws. And we went with those on this because they were, uh, they would stand up a lot better. The A-frame tongue jack is uh, 2,000 pound rated. Um, no, this jack here might be a 5,000 pound rated. It was all in what I had. Uh, this particular one right here is a 5,000 pound rated jack. So super heavy duty jack on the front. Not that it's needed. You could get away with a two if you ever have to replace it, but you have to really, you have to use that one for a while to replace that jack. Uh, but that's it right there. Uh, I don't think you're going to find a better built trailer for the money anywhere in the country. Um, if you have any more questions, just give me a call back and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Appreciate your interest and uh, have a great day.